Creative Crambo back with another one. Okay, what you see there is a nasty water stain. One of the radiators from above uh, had a small leak. The leak's gone through the floor. It's hit the plasterboard and it's left this nasty water stain. Okay, so normal emulsion won't uh, cure the job here. What you're gonna need is some sort of primer sealer and stain block. As you can see, it's quite a big one. This is the stain killer I'm gonna be using. That's the Bullseye 123 interior and exterior primer sealer stain killer. That dries in 30 minutes and you can re-coat within one hour. It's an all-purpose water base, interior and exterior use. Eye hiding stain sealer, sticks to all surfaces without sanding, used with all paints, like I said, record in one hour, soap and water clean up. Now I have used this before, so what I'll do is get one coat on there first, I shall let that dry, but I'm probably going to do three or four coats. That's the stain killer I'm going to be using. All I'll be doing as well using a, a roller for the application and then we're going to get rid of that stain in the ceiling up there using the stain killer. Okay so I'm going to get uh, one coat on there now. Like I said I'll probably uh, have to do three or four. Also as well, after all, I do all these coats, I will have to go up again with a uh, white emulsion as well. If you didn't know already white, there's, there's quite a few different shades of white. So that's just gonna show up with the rest of the ceiling, so. I'm going to build these coats up one at a time. And that should do the job. Yeah, so that's how it looks after one hour. That's one coat, that's fully dry now. What I'll do is go with the second coat. But just looking by the first coat there, that's a big difference um, to the stain there. I think I'll do two more to be fair. I'll get the second coat on, let that dry, have a look at it. I will then go probably just go with a, a third coat as well. We'll have a look at that. And what I'll do then is uh, get some white emulsion and uh, paint that over as well and see uh, the results of that. But it's already looking pretty good. Okay, that's uh, the second coat now. Must have made great results there. The stain is pretty much nearly gone now. What I will do though is a third coat, just so that stain is uh, completely uh, blocked out. And after that, I'll go over with a uh, white emulsion. I'll do this patch first, but more than likely, I will have to do the whole ceiling just to blend it all in. But that's uh, looking pretty good now after two coats. Must admit. It does exactly what it says on the tin. The stain killer. Just blocks out that uh, water, bad water mark. So don't keep on bleeding through. That's looking pretty good. Yeah, so that's three coats on there now. That's looking loads better as well. That's all dry now as well. So what we've done there is primed it, sealed it, and then we've stopped that uh, that bad uh, stain, water stain coming through the ceiling there. We've stopped that now bleeding through. That's just for three coats. 
what I'll do now is uh, use some uh, brilliant white emulsion. I'll go over that area. But as you can see there, can't see nothing bleeding through. That's looking pretty good. Yeah, okay, so I'm just going to go over this now with uh, some brilliant white emulsion. Like I said, that's uh, uh, three quarts. What I'll do is just, I'll just do one quart, then I'll let that dry, have a look at it. But more than likely, I've got to do the whole seal, I think. But that's not a problem. That's easy to do. At least I've got rid of that uh, bad water stain. Okay, so I'll just let that dry, have a look at that, and see where I need to go. Okay, so I've just gone over the stain killer with the brilliant white emulsion. That's just one gone over. But it still looks like the, the stain killer is um, uh, sort of grinning through a little bit. What I'll do is go again with the brilliant white emulsion. I'll let that dry again, have another look, and maybe I've got to go three times with the brilliant white emulsion because I can still see uh, the, the stain killer grinning through, um, so I'm not happy with that. Uh, so I've got to go again with the brilliant white emulsion. Yeah, so I'm going to keep on going on with the brilliant white emulsion. The stain killer is still there grinning through. What I'm going to do is just keep on going, let it dry, another cord, let it dry, another cord, let it dry, because the stain killer is still grinning through. That's actually four cords now. For closer inspection, I can still see the stain killer grinning through still. So I want to keep on going until I don't see no more stain killer grinning through. Yeah, that's the emulsion I am using. That's a Dulux uh, Pure Brilliant White Walls and Ceilings in the colour matte. I've done this five times now, but must admit, can't see any more stain killer grinning through. I think I've cracked it. Okay, it takes a little while, but just keep on going over it and eventually you'll get them results. It's a little bit time consuming, but to get rid of that stain, it's the process you've got to do. That's looking loads better. Yeah, okay, so I did have to go over the whole ceiling uh, once with the Dulux uh, Pure Brilliant White Emulsion. I went over the stain there five times as well with the emulsion. But that's a process you've got to do if you've got a nasty stain, nasty water stain. The Bullseye 123 stain killer will grin through on a couple of coats of emulsion. But if you keep on going over it, eventually uh, you won't see no grinning through. Okay, it's a long process, but to be honest with you, to get rid of a, a, a nasty stain like that, then that's the process you've got to go through. Well, pleased with the job now. All looking really good. No more stain, 
no more nasty uh, water stain there. And I had to go over to see them again, so, so be it. It is what it is. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Turn on notifications.